Hi ninjas, how are you guys doing? It's your girl, or oh, I'm in the Chibajoro, aka Miss Fia for Color Point Back for All Entertainment. If it's the first time joining me, you must definitely welcome. Please do make sure that you subscribe and obviously hit the bell. I absolutely love you. And do not forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. It's at boldly or oh, Now, my ninjas, it is a very long story, but to cut the long story short, this is the background for Boldly or oh, and I was supposed to film a video which. I'm deciding that I'm gonna end up just filming in the morning and so since the camera was already here there's even load shedding I've just decided this is going to be the background for today so yeah anyway I hope that that does not distract anything anyway the quality is quality honey okay after all I am the blogger they blog about so <laughs> y'all know honey y'all know but anyway ninjas today we're going to go ahead and talk about ghost Luby, and we're also going to talk about sima now some of you guys may be surprised like chad did we not like do that is that not dead and buried is that not like old news near okay mm -mm, it's not because ghost Luby actually just i guess maybe is just finding out about the life that sima um actually made which is quite shocking for me but anyway there's a recent video that he posted and guys when i tell you guys that the moment i saw this sleep the clips on tiktok i was like child like this is about to be the meme of the year i'm telling you like if anything i think when you know the box were well, okay it, it happened in july which there was a lot that happened mcg happened eff happened so maybe that would take the spot but i'm gonna go ahead and just um you know play a bit by bit of this clip and you guys can hear it so let's go ahead and roll this first part <laughs> Why would you say that? Why? Why would you say that, bro? Why would you say that, bro? Why? 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 Tell me why. Tell me why again. Why would you say that? Why? 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 Something is just supposed to be private, bro. Something is just supposed to be between you and the person. Why would you say that? Why? Why? Now, the why, 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 why continues to boom, okay? And of course, I'm going to cut a bit of that part. Um, and then, of course, let's go ahead and react to the next um, piece. Yeah, not good, right? What's that mean? Yeah, I'm not That's because when I make a mistake, I actually know how to apologize. You know what I'm saying? I'm not perfect. You're not perfect too. Nobody in this world is perfect. You know what I'm saying? When I actually make a mistake, I can apologize, guys. You know what I'm saying? When I see that I'm wrong, I can actually apologize. Why would you say that, bro? Why would you say that, bro? Why? Why? Is it for the people, for the attention? For the attention that you're gonna get? Is it for the attention you're gonna get? Is it for the attention you're gonna get? Is it for the attention you're gonna get from saying that? Is it? Is it? I can't watch this video anymore, bro.
watched the whole video i did skip through it at first i didn't see that he broke his glasses that was you know um so for some of you guys that may want to know like you know context basically what happened was that sima and um ghost Ruby were a couple uh and they were a couple that would also make uh pranks now obviously those pranks would be uploaded on ghost Ruby's channel youtube channel which of course you guys know that as long as a youtube channel is monetized then that person is making money he would get hundreds of thousands of views even millions of views um and of course it would be about uh the pranks that he would actually do with sima now one prank in particular that a lot of people actually had a lot of questions about was when he actually surprised her with a car now that was not a prank that was just a surprise like he bought her a car but the people that were being pranked were actually us because the bands actually wasn't bought that was all for show now of course you guys know prank channels that's mostly what they do it's not a lot of um channels that uh do pranks that are real most of the pranks are actually stay by the way um and of course you know if you still enjoy them you're gonna watch i actually even watched the the video when it comes to acting sima should just think maybe to making music and being a tiktoker i don't think that she's a great actress i think that maybe she can go ahead and get classes but like the fall like child the fact that you've been practiced in your room but it was that horrible like i'm just like child you need some more extra um acting lessons because that was definitely not it now obviously after the car was bought sima did say that she didn't even have a license so she couldn't drive and people like us we never got to see the car you know it was a mercedes-benz which is beautiful we never got to see her driving the car and of course a lot of people would ask which she was quiet when now the relationship was over and people were now asking again like hey um where is the car she then decided to actually just go ahead and tell the truth to say hey it was actually a prank there was no car mm -hmm. now of course she then went on to reveal more information um about the pranks that they would do she would talk about oh this was not real or oh, this was this this was that there was this and there was that but i think that the part that is really honestly shocking me is the fact that i know that that live actually happened a very long time ago it was a while while back when they were just breaking up ghost Lube has um already moved on he does have a new girlfriend from what i know um and so i'm really quite su surprised eh, that his feelings would still be this extreme especially because like we have already like you know we have already watched the live we thought that it was done and dusted but clearly not to him because this is how he was actually acting right now again after everything that i've heard from sima it doesn't like ghost it's actually an extremist when it comes to his pranks and his acting um for his youtube channel and everything and so i think that due to the fact that we now have that information it kind of destroys his credibility i'm not even going to lie because as i was watching him i was like is this real or is this for show and i also saw that there were other people that i were actually commenting saying that ah anything that has to do with ghosts should be not don't, i just don't take it serious because of obviously sima has also already come to tell us and again man it it seems like even the pranks that he does he does recycle like he knows how to keep the audience i should go ahead and say because if i'm not mistaken did he not um you know also surprise his his current girlfriend with a new car or something like you know <laughs> he he can't just go around be buying people cars but anyway osima has already said that you know that was actually a prank so you can see that he's very very upset there's also another part that that i want to remind you guys the time that o -O 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 Sima was having a fight with sian buji sian buji actually did reveal that ghost club actually contacted her if i'm not mistaken i think that was the time they were fighting that ghost club actually contacted her um and he wanted them to basically do a video or a collab or something which obviously would basically be the middle finger to sima which sian buji obviously declined um and so i think that it was just that thing where i was like the time that sima was wilding with the lives and the video Ghost Ruby seemed to be someone that was quiet, but he wasn't really quiet if he was ag again still trying to do certain things behind. You understand what I'm saying? 
going to someone that his ex-girlfriend his recent current ex-girlfriend was fighting with and wanting to do a collab and all that i think that it was something that was very strategic and if sian bougie had decided that she was gonna go with it then it means that you know um it would have been like a situation where imagine like you know this is somebody that you were dating you guys have a, a fallout and he decides that he's good like i feel like that was just something that was very much spiteful and so i don't know what is it that triggered him this time um for him to make this video i'm really quite shocked that he would not have watched this live the time that it happened because it trended it definitely trended um so yeah i really honestly just do not know when it comes to that do i think that he's having a mental breakdown i don't know it it does seem like it you know the way that it seems um he seems to be genuinely hurt he seems to be genuinely in his feelings but again i think that the fact that we now have known that he fakes pranks it's like is this another one of those that is a prank because even the time that he was going to um you know buy usima the car we were like he was very serious about it you wouldn't think that he's actually pranking which means he really is a good actor he should also maybe consider a career in acting because i feel like he would actually do really really good i did find that that was honestly like wow very much extreme uh yeah as i said in the beginning i do see a lot of memes actually coming out from that but anyway i do want you guys to go and comment down below what you guys think of this whole situation um do you guys think that this is real do you think that this is for show is the show biz what do you guys think of this because honestly when it comes to me i just i don't know like i just that was very extreme that's one thing that i will say that was very very extreme for me <laughs> that was very extreme for me i don't think that only just for me i think that that was just extreme in general um and honestly if it is the truth that you know he is basically hurting i would like to say may you find healing goes to you know um, may you find healing i w i do understand why she had to expose the car part because obviously everyone were kept on asking her which can get annoying if it was me i would also go ahead and talk about that but I feel like other things, maybe, you know, it was just, maybe she should have just said, you know what, I'm not going to talk about it. The relationship is over. I do not know. But basically, yeah, quite wild. <laughs> this younger generation is wilding and when you just go ahead and comment down below what you guys think of this whole situation from me, um, and I will see you guys my next upload. Bye, Ninja.